Nuffle Bunny 2, A Case of Mistaken Identity by Mo Williams. One morning, not so long ago, Trixie took a walk with her daddy. By now, Trixie really knew how to talk. Guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to show Amy, and then I'll show Meg, and, and, and then I'll show Margaret, and then I'll show Jane, and then I'll show Leela, and then I'll show Rebecca, and then I'll show Noah, and then I'll show Robbie, and then I'll, I'll show Tashi, and then I'll show Casey, and then I'll show Connie, and, 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 and then I'll show Parker, and then I'll show Brian, and then... And she talked and talked. Trixie was excited because she was taking her first one-of-a-kind Nuffle Bunny someplace very special. Come on, come on! School. Trixie couldn't wait to show Nuffle Bunny to Miss Greengrove and all her friends in pre-K. But just as her daddy kissed her goodbye, Trixie saw Sonia. Suddenly, Trixie, one of a kind Nuffle Bunny, wasn't so one of a kind anymore. The morning did not go well. Nuffle, 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 Nuffle. The afternoon was worse. When the school bell rang, Miss Greengrove returned the Nuffle Bunnies, and the day got better. Then before she knew it, it was time to go home. Trixie ate her dinner, devoured her dessert, brushed her teeth, and tried to escape the mommy and daddy robots from Planet Snurp. At half past bedtime, Trixie was tucked in, ready for sleep. But a few hours later, Trixie realized something. Trixie marched into her mommy and daddy's room and said, That is not my bunny. Trixie daddy tried to explain what 2.30 in the morning, 2.30 a.m. means. He asked, Can we deal with this in the morning? Trixie's daddy went to the phone Before he even made it down the stairs, bring the phone rang. We have your bunny, said a man's voice on the other end. We have yours, replied Trixie's daddy. Arrangements were made. Trixie and her daddy rushed across the neighborhood. Trixie did not want to be late. Neither did Sonia. There was an exchange and the Nuffle Bunnies were back where they belonged. I was so worried about my bunny, said Sonia. So was I, Trixie replied. Then they both said, 
I'm glad you got your bunny back at the exact same time. And that is how Trixie found her first best friend.